Hey, it's Alex with Lever Fighter Writer, and in this closers copy tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how to use the launch pad feature, which is one of the newest features that has been introduced to uh, the closers copy landscape. So this is uh, what closers copy looks like once you're inside a document. This is where all of the action takes place. Um, so some people are a little bit confused about how to get started with closers copy. They expect to be able to access the tools from their dashboard, but from your dashboard, you need to create a document. And then once you are inside of the document, then you have access to all the tools. And I think the reason that, uh, that this tool was introduced, the launch pad, is that um, Closers Copy has a lot of power. It has a lot of versatility and a lot of different tools. As you can see, all of these are different tools. Starts with launch pad up here, up here, and then there's all these other tools. There's other options down here, like, uh, dark mode and light mode and full screen and, and then there's all this stuff over here so there's a lot that you can potentially click on it can be a little bit overwhelming and uh, confusing for newer users and I think that's why uh, Nico decided to introduce the launchpad feature so launchpad looks like this and basically uh, you can create uh, a number of launch pads I don't think there's really any limit to the number of launch pads that you can create and a launch pad is basically just a way of grouping tools that you want to use for a specific purpose. So right now I have two launch pads that I've made. You can see I'm in my library here and I've got a copy launch pad and an SEO launch pad and each of them has different tools. So my copy launch pad is for copywriting. So I have my AIDA uh, ad copy tool. I have a Facebook ad copy, copy generator, a Facebook headline copy generator, uh, uh, POS copy generator and a TikTok ad copy generator. So basically um, when I want to, uh, if, I, if I'm starting a document and I know that I want to focus on copywriting, especially copywriting ads, then I know that I can just go to my launch pad and I can go to my copy launch pad and then I have all of my favorite copy tools right here. And if I want to add more tools, then I can just hit this plus button and this little uh, dialog pops up right here. And now here we have all of Closers Copy's tools in a list, and I can just search, uh, for example, I can just put in the word copy and hit enter, and then I could add any other, um, any other tools that I might want to, and that's gonna add it in there, and then I can just close this, and then that's uh, where that goes. And then if I come over to SEO Launchpad, it's the same, you can see my SEO Launchpad is a little bit simpler, in SEO Launchpad, I just have the SEO tool, I have the long form writing tool, and I have my blog workflow tool. So that's basically what a Launchpad is. And then here, right here, this uh, little icon looks like a person is the uh, library or the community Launchpads. So you can see there's not many yet. I haven't made any yet. Um, so I might have to add one to the library soon, but uh, that's where you can access community launch pads. I'm sure people will start making more soon. And then, like I said, once you have a launch pad, you just click on this plus button and you can add more tools to it. And then to create a new launch pad, you go to the manage button here. And then you can see these are the two launch pads that I want. I can reorder them by grabbing a hold of them with this over here. And I can, oh, that's kind of, okay, there we go. And then I can delete them and I can share them, which is how you would put it into the community library, and I can update them. So that the update is kind of like the save button. And in order to create a new launch pad, you just click on uh, this little plus button right here, and then you give it a name. So I can say, uh, let's see what else. Um, maybe we'll do a fiction launch pad. So I've been working on some fiction writing tools. And then we just hit update to make sure that that's saved. We can close this, and then now you can see I have Fiction Launchpad in my library here, and so I can go to Fiction Launchpad, and of course it's empty because I haven't added anything to it yet, and then so I can just pop that open, and now I'm just going to type in Fiction here, and uh, I guess, so I guess mine don't have the word Fiction in it, but I'll just add these two because these are tools that other people have created for Fiction. And then what did I call mine? Um, maybe something to do with story. Um, here we go. Um, I 
there's actually a lot that have to do with story, but so I'll just add my uh, my frameworks individually here. And that should be good. All right, so now I've got uh, all these various tools. Add a few more. So now I've got all these great um, tools for writing fiction in here. Um, I guess some of them are not for that, so you can just remove like that and um, story plot fictional stories. Um, and so I've got all these different tools that I can use for writing fiction here. And you can, like I said, you can just click on remove to remove them. Um, and each one, anytime that you want to use a particular one, you would just click on it. So we can go to story chapters outline generator. It's going to open that particular framework. And then, uh, you know, you can work with it from there. And then if you want to use a different framework, you can go to the library or you can go back to the launch pad and it's going to bring back uh, your launch pad. So I think um, like for me personally, I've been using Closers Copy since before it even had AI writing tools. So I'm very familiar with where everything is. I'm very comfortable with all the tools and how to use them. So I probably won't actually use launch pads that much because uh, I just, uh, it's, it's very easy for me to find what I want to use. However, um, if you're newer to the software, if, you're, if you've just got Closers Copy or you're thinking about buying Closers Copy, um, then this might actually be really useful for you because it's gonna be, it's gonna make it simpler to put things that you wanna use in one place so you don't have to go looking for them. And it's just gonna be one click away. Anytime you want your launch pad, you just click there you find the right launch pad and it loads the tools that you want. Um, so if you haven't, if you, if you are new to Closers Copy or if you are planning on buying it soon, then I think this will be a really useful feature for you. And if you are planning on buying Closers Copy, uh, I'm gonna have an affiliate link in the description of this video. Uh, I would really appreciate it if you use that. It really helps me uh, focus on creating content on this channel. And uh, that's about it. I don't think there's anything else to cover for this particular tool. Uh, so I've got lots of other closures copy and AI writing videos on my channel. Be sure to check it out. I appreciate it if you subscribe if you want to get more content from me. And feel free to leave me a comment if you have uh, any requests for future videos or if you have any questions about this one or about closures copy or AI writing in general. I'm always happy to help you out. All right, that's it for this video and I will catch you in the next one.